recently have started to take on a dominant role in our new switch dynamic. I was my wife's submissive for the longest time, and it was a bit of a jarring switch, but I've come to enjoy it. My submissive has a short temperament from the stress of her job. When I am her submissive, I would try to do nice things and tidy up the house, give her time to unwind. As her dominant, I would like to incorporate punishment when she gets snippy and short. I know when she gets home and raises her voice at me, she doesn't mean it, but the negative energy is aimed toward whatever pissed her off earlier. Though sometimes rarely her frustrations will turn into nitpicks and small things I do, or she takes it out on me, but she always apologizes the next day. I do have rough days, but I leave them at the doormat before I come home. She also says that she feels really comfortable around me, so yelling and I guess letting loose is something only I see because she has to be professional all the time. To the point, is it bad to incorporate punishment toward this attitude or am I going about it the wrong way? She says I can do whatever I want as a dominant and I suppose I can punish her temper and do it until a safe word is called. I just figured punishing someone who is angry wouldn't fix the problem, it would just make it worse. I don't want to ruin anything. I did a punishment one night and she just went, hurry up, I need to get to bed. <laughs> And I don't know, and I didn't know whether to make it longer or stop or what. Okay. So let's just say you're dead. This is hilarious. This is good. This is good. So can I just say, uh, Queen Maeve and Shred, so glad that you are so secure and open about this. I can't wait to dig into this with you guys. And I do think that I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be able to help you out. Okay. So let me throw this out there. And Queen Maeve, remember that I love you, but your husband and dominant asked me this question. And so I am going to answer this question as I would talk to any other dominant that I am working with or training. And I love you, Queen Maeve. And I'm not getting on your case. If at any point you feel that I am, tell me and we'll, we'll hug and make up. All right? But here's the thing that I'm going to say to Shred. I'm going to be just talking to your husband now. You have a massive training opportunity, Shred. And it's not about punishing necessarily because training is both reward and punishment. You have a massive point of training here, a massive opportunity for training. Because here's the thing. venting and disrespect are two very different things. The breakdown is venting is the mindful and respectful release of emotions through verbal communication directed away from the listener. Let's break it down again. Venting is the mindful and respectful release of emotions through verbal communication directed away from the listener versus disrespect. Directed to the listener. That's really it. Is it directed to the listener or away from the listener? Because you could be feisty, you can rant and rave, but if it's being if it's being hurled at the listener, you're not venting, you're attacking. Okay? So a couple of the descriptions, a few of the descriptions that Shred listed as to his experience from his submissive is short temper, snippy, raises voice, nitpicks, takes anger out on him is the dom, yells, has a temper. Does any of that sound like the mindful and respectful release of emotions through verbal communication directed away from the listener versus disrespect, which is directed to the listener? Yes. Okay. And it's not, it's not mindful either. It's not mindful. It's not respectful. So. Venting as a dominant, if I'm, if I'm the dominant in this situation, venting absolutely encouraged. Baby, I want you to get it out. Vent, I will listen, all of that. But I will stop listening and I will fucking set a boundary. 
if that anger and aggression is so uncontrolled that you start directing it at me when all I'm doing is just trying to hold fucking space for you. That absolutely a hard limit. I would not tolerate it in any way, shape, or form. So I want to I want to talk to Queen Maeve and maybe just volley out a couple of options for her to consider. But really, this is all about Shred. I really want to empower Shred to take the lead here. So Shred, yes, I do think this is a big point of training, a big opportunity for training. And she has said, you can do whatever you want as my dominant. So she's looking for that. She's looking for that guidance. She's looking for that leadership. And dare I say, she's even maybe looking for some of this training to help her navigate these strong emotions. So I'm just going to throw out kind of a role play scenario how I would go about this and you can take from it what you want. But let's say I'm the dominant in this situation. My submissive comes home ranting about the day, stressed about the day, and it starts out as as venting and then it turns into disrespect yelling at me nitpicking things like that the moment that shift happens it's full stop and again i'm not going to escalate i'm not going to if she's yelling i i'm not gonna no no no. we're trying to de-escalate so if that energy is happening what it would indicate to me is she needs care. She fucking needs care. She needs to get out of her head, not be responsible, and receive some fucking care. So I would do it in a couple of different ways. Number one, we're going to address the behavior. And we're going to, I would, I would give her a warning because this is new. And we need to train her to be mindful and her be empowered to shut down her own behavior when it gets out of control. So the way that we can do that is by just being her mirror, bringing it to her attention. And if she's going down the disrespect path, then we full stop. And and you can jolt her out. Hey, no, excuse me. Silence. Now. No, silence. Now. You're going to sit down or kneel, preferably. And you're going to listen. Okay. I understand that you've had a shit day. I understand that you're stressed. I understand that you're overwhelmed. And you know what? I want to hold space for you to vent and to let that out. But what you're doing just now has crossed the line into disrespectful territory, and I'm not going to tolerate it. Do you understand? Do you, do you see where you went from venting to disrespect? And get that acknowledgement, get that presence, get that acknowledgement, correct it. And it's up to you how you want to determine that, how she's responding. Let that be a gauge for you. If she's getting it and she's like, yes, sir, I'm so sorry. Then instantly praise it, praise it, pull her close, stroke her hair, give her kisses, super nurturing, lots of care. But if she pushes back and she's still fussy about it, gives you a look, whatever, then you go, okay, you have two options. You can either be a respectful submissive or you don't have to have a dominant. Falls in your court. Push, push. See how that goes. If she's still feeling fussy, it's not, no, I do want a dominant, but you just don't understand. I had a shit day. Why can't I just yell and just vent about it. You know, I don't feel safe doing this with anyone else. I only feel safe with you. And why are, no. Look, I understand that you feel safe, but your attitude toward me and your disrespect toward me doesn't make me feel safe. So as my wife and as my submissive, I feel like we both should feel safe in this marriage and in this dynamic. Do you agree? Find the unity. Find the unity. Okay. And when you get there, then strategize. And it could be, okay. So here's what I want you to do. I know you had a really exceptionally bad day. I would like you to, and I hope at this point you have some sort of like protocols or rituals being established. But honestly, it would be, okay. Now, what I need you to do is I need you to go take 30 
minutes. I want you to go in the bedroom. Before you do, I want your phone. I want your iPad. I want your computer. I want all of your devices. Okay? And then you're going to go in our bedroom. And you are going to journal or listen to music or meditate or whatever. Okay? I want you to go in there for 30 minutes. Journal, meditate, whatever. Listen to music. Turn the lights off, take a nap. I don't care. But when you come out of that room, you will be a respectful submissive. And if you cannot, when you come out of that room, then there will be severe enough consequences where you will severely question your behavior in the future. Do you understand? Okay? We're giving her room to learn and to make mistakes. Okay? We're giving her room to learn. We're giving her room to make mistakes. We're giving her room to grow. And then you gauge it. If she comes out of that room and she is so sweet and yes, Daddy, thank you so much for the time. I'm so sorry. I was still really in my head and I hadn't checked out a Dom space yet. That's what we want. That's what we're going for. If she's still a little, <laughs> but she's being respectful, lean into that. Take up space there. Lead there. Nurture that. Okay? So, dominance. Is this is making sense. You picking up what I'm throwing down. And Queen Maeve, now that I have, I mean, I know I have you here, and I, I don't know where their shred is with you or not, but Shred is sitting with me. Any feedback from Shred? Any reactions or feedback from Shred? And Queen Maeve, are we still friends? But Shred, this is really a beautiful point of training. This is a really a beautiful point of training because this is something, this is a skill that your queen is going to need as she advances in her career. She's going to need to build the skill of leaving it at the door, kind of becoming compartmentalized in certain degrees, going, no, I'm checking out of Dom space and it is my choice. My choice when I check out of Dom space. And it's my choice when I check back into it for work. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right. It made sense. Okay. Well, Queen Maeve, I really hope that once this kind of starts getting implemented, it will help you because I'm not trying to condemn you or vilify you or judge or shame or any of that. And I hope you see that. I hope you feel that. The emotions that you're experiencing, the stress, you being overwhelmed, all super, super valid. I think this is just a way for you to level up. You know, I think this is just a way for you to level up, girl. And this is going to make you a better submissive. And it's going to make you a better dominant and a better leader at work, right? Having that emotional awareness and emotional control is going to become a superpower for you. And that's what I'm speaking to here. I think that the two of you can really, really do some excellent work in this regard. Mm -hmm.